And Mike, you inherited a group that kind of struggled to get after the passer last year, and I don't think we've talked about how, how much they've gotten better throughout the year. How have you seen the pass rush get better, and then against a school like LSU who's going to throw as much, how important is that? Right. Uh, well, uh, Coach Roach and Coach Nix have done a phenomenal job working with those guys, and our, their pass rush techniques have gotten better and better as the year has gone along. Uh, I think we've got a feel for – what certain guys can do better, different stunts that we've been able to do that they've really gotten good at. So um, I think that's been a, a big, big key. Their, their hard work at the kids, hard work at it. And, and uh, um, I think they've really kept improving as the year goes along. We're definitely going to need some pass rush in this game. Um, the quarterback, uh, Burrow, does a great job of getting rid of the ball, though. Um, a lot of different quick passes and things at times. And then they do a good job of kind of uh, what I call max protecting for their different shots. So. Um, we're going to have to understand that, and but you're definitely correct. We're going to have to be able to harass him a little bit, get him a little bit off rhythm um, the best we can, and hopefully uh, our guys keep pass rushing well in there. But we've gotten better at our games, and Coach Nix and Coach Roach have done a great job with those guys, and they've really um, listened to them and taken off. Matt, a few minutes ago, emphasized uh, red zone defense in this game. Uh, said they're probably you know make, they're going to hit some plays, but as the field shrinks, uh, the importance there. What's your assessment of how you guys have done there and, and, uh, and your take on that this week? Uh, well, we've, we've gotten a little better down there, um, and that's a, you know, it's a key component. You kind of um, – red zone defense is always a huge key, but it seems like it's a bigger key in today's football. Um, people move the ball a little bit more. There's a little bit more opportunity. So sometimes you're – I don't think – maybe arena ball got, got into that formula because arena ball, if you made them kick field goals, you were winning the arena ball game, right, when it was like 70 to – 68. So I think that trickled in um, to college football and, and how they're moving the football down the field. And you get down in the red zone, it's really to the defense's advantage because of the verticality. Um, so you can play a little tighter coverage. You can drop people more because they don't drop as deep. So if anybody runs, you can still fit the same run fits. Um, so that's something we've worked on and definitely going to have to be able to play um, good down there. Um, you know, Burrow's really good at throwing in some tight windows. Um, but uh, that, that's going to be a, a, a key asset um, for us. It's kind of like the third and medium range is always a, a, a key deal. on the, All third downs on defense are big, but that third and four to five area, how you do in that third and four to five to six area really kind of is a telltale in the game. Because third and short, they're going to get it sometimes. Third and longs are give and take. But that third and four to five to six, that's kind of like the red zone area in a way um, in the open field because everybody's playing a little tighter. There's a little different thoughts. Um, and uh, especially that's when you get more bunch routes, you get more crossing routes, you get more picks, same type of stuff they do in the red zone. So those are two areas we try to focus on a lot. Mike, uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Hilaire? Is that how you pronounce his name, the running back 22? Number 22, yeah. yeah. He is good, Clyde. And, and uh, yeah, I think Burroughs is kind of underrated in, in the fact that he's a he's better very scrambler. Athletic. Yeah. Clyde is an excellent runner. Um, you know, he makes a lot of people miss. He's uh, really compact, really quick um, to the ground. Um, you know, he he's, uh, he's, he's really makes them go. When they run their dive read and stuff, he's, he's able to hit and jump cut um, really well. Um, he's able to make the linebacker miss in the hole quite often. Um, and then when he gets in the open field, he's making the safeties miss. He, he's a really, really good player. The way they run him on what we call the dive read um, principle where they're, you know, reading the inside backers and the way they do it and block it um, really enables him to use his jump cut ability and quickness. Um, and he's an excellent player. You know, Burrow is a really good athlete. Um, I mean, he's a really good athlete. You see him out running guys right and left. You see him making moves. Uh, he's an excellent athlete that – He's been able to run some, you know, scramble, keep the ball alive, scramble, get first downs. You know, they've run the QB draw. They've run him a little bit. Um, I don't think they want to run him too much, um, but he is a very capable, capable runner, not just a guy to kind of get by with him. He can make plays with his legs.
from y'all's perspective, it seems like the secondary has taken a little bit of a step forward these last two or three games. Mm -hmm. Just what has been working better for some of those guys back there? Well, I think one of the things we talked about earlier, our pass rush has gotten better. That's the best thing. You, 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 um, it's kind of like the old line for the quarterback. If he has good pass protection, he can see downfield. So I, it just goes vice versa with it. Um, but the, ca the kids have been working hard. Coach Clark's been doing a good job um, on our recognition of routes and understanding how to stay close. And I think they've just gotten a little bit more comfortable really understanding our scheme better and better and better, knowing where their help is and where their help isn't. Um, you, sometimes you can't cover everything. <laughs> but if you know where you're going to funnel it to or help to or know where your leverage is, um, that's a big key in, in making one or two plays in a game, which make a whole difference in a game. Um, so I, I think they definitely have improved, and we're going to have to play really, really well. Um, we don't have to play perfect, but we've got to play really, really well uh, against uh, uh, LSU to be able to stay close to their guys. You know, the, the thing that makes Burrow so special, he's kind of like Tua. He throws the ball really well in tight windows um, and is able to be very accurate. You talked after the Alabama game about never having seen a group of receivers like that before. Mm -hmm. Does it feel kind of like well, you're I did. I saw it when I was coaching at the yeah. Cowboys and the Jets. But <laughs> is it, um, it does does this LSC receiving core remind you of that at all? Just yeah, they are. They oh have? yeah, they're real similar. Um, they're, you know, the receiving core. They're tight ends, gifted athletically. The receiving core is, um, and you know, they're they're excellent, excellent team. The O line is they're. They're an excellent offensive team. I mean, there's, you kind of look and you go, where is there a weakness? There's really not many any weaknesses. Uh, they're very, very good at what they do and how they do it. And, um, and their play calling is, you know, excellent on how they attack. Um, hopefully we'll be able to figure it out and, and, and compete and compete well and try to go win the football game. That's our plan.